Hi, in this video we're gonna use Terraform open source module to create AWS VPC. Let's get started. In this video we're gonna be using this module and you can find the link in the YouTube description. So this module supports multiple objects, VPC, subnet, routing, tables, internet gateway, etc. So in this video we're gonna use VPC, subnet, route, route table, NAT gateway, internet gateway and Elastic IP address. Okay, let's get to it and create our main tf file and this is the whole file and also you can uh, specify the version so here you can say version and then it's gonna be this version It's gonna be 262.0 and here we're gonna call it uh, the main VPC we're gonna use Cedar 10.0.0.18 then we're gonna specify what availability zone we want to use and here we're gonna use 21A and 1B and then we need to define Cedar for our private subnet and it's going to be 10.0.1.0.24 and the private subnet will contain the NAT gateway and here uh, we're going to create also a public subnet and we're going to define it 10.0.0.24 and we're going to use enable our NAT gateway and one tag and let's create this go to the terminal and run terraform init first to download the modules and initialize backend in our case it's just gonna be the local backend and let's run apply and as you can see we are creating 12 resources and let's type yes and well it's gonna take couple minutes to create all of them all right so VPC was created and let's take a look what we have now let's go to AWS console and refresh our page and we can see that now we have the main uh, VPC and with our seeder and let's go to the subnets we can see that we have the public subnet with the default route to internet gateway and we have the private subnet with default route to NAT gateway and also we have created uh, these two uh, routing tables one of them for private with NAT gateway and for public with internet gateway also we have the internet gateway here and elastic IP address was created as well and we need this elastic IP address to use in our NAT gateway so NAT gateway depends on that IP address and this that's the one and you can see that we have the NAT gateway so we have fully functional uh, VPC only by using single module and in previous video I show you how you can use um, Terraform resources and create exactly the same but it took much longer uh, and you had to define more resources than just one single module okay thanks for watching